Today, we're going to be dealing with two issues presented to us by Android. The first issue is the inability to record for longer than 4 gigabytes, which if you're recording in 1080p, usually takes about 30 minutes or so to reach 4 gigabytes. We're going to tackle that issue, and that can be fixed by a simple app called Open Camera. Now I'll show you what that is straight away. So, here it is, Open Camera. Now Open Camera, why is it so special? Let me tell you why. What Open Camera does is not only is it really easy to use, as you can see, remaining space, battery, time, everything is shown here, including the angle at which your phone is being held, not that um, you'll ever need to know why, but um, <clears throat> as you can see, it is incredibly, it is incredibly, um, sorry, that's going off the track. Let me explain to you why it is I uh, needed to let your phone record for longer than 4 gigabytes. Now, let me explain the concept to you. Basically, if you want to record something for, let's say, 3 hours, now, 3 hours is comprised of 30 minutes times 6. That means if you wanted to record for 3 hours, you would have to um, fill up 4 gigabytes 6 times. Now, the annoying thing which most people dislike is that once it hits that 3 hour mark, I mean that 30 minute mark, that, that 30 minute mark or the 4 gigabyte mark, the video stops. So basically, it'll stop here, and the rest of your video is not going to be recording when you thought it was. So if you're like at a lecture or something, and you're trying to record a lecture after 30 minutes, while you're intently listening to the um, lecturer, you cannot be fiddling with your phone. But after 30 minutes, your phone will stop recording. That is not a good issue. So since we cannot record for, four, um, for the um, entire three hours, why? what Open Camera does is it allows you to segment the three hours. Basically what it does is you can set a max video <coughs> duration and you can set it to around 30 minutes and basically after 30 minutes your video will stop. But it gives you an extra setting. It gives you an extra setting to after the video stops at 30 minutes to continue. So it will every it will keep segmenting um, videos by well, recording 30 minutes, stopping and starting again. And through this, you, through this, you would have, by the end of the three hour lecture or whatnot, you would have six 30 minute videos, although here I have seven, and you can later fuse them together into um, a bigger video later on. So let me demonstrate to you how this is done. Now, this is open camera. And we picked off where from the settings. So to the settings, you want to come into this video settings, and then you want to go to the maximum duration of a video. Um, well, I actually tested that on a, a S4. 1080p takes about 33 minutes. So you always want to set the maximum duration to be just a bit under how long it takes for the video to completely reach four gigabytes. For an S4, it's 33. So I set 25. It may be different depending on what phone you have. Now, for demonstrative purposes of this video, we're going to set it to 15. And I'll show you what it does. Basically, what it does is this. Notice the numbers here. Fast forward this if you want. It's quite boring to wait for it. Yep, 15 seconds, so as you can see it stops, and it starts another video. This will then reach 15 seconds, and it will stop, and it will start another video again. So, this is pretty much how it works, and now, by the end of, well, 30 seconds, I would have two videos with 15 seconds each. So this way, you'll get about 3 point something, 3.85 gigabytes and then it will start a new video. So 
now you can record for longer than um, four gigabytes. Now let me just pop this back to 25 minutes, my preferred length, and also um, this right here is restart the video after the maximum duration. Make sure you have it at at least one times or two times. I put ten times. Basically, this is how many times you want it to restart after it hits max duration. If you if you have it on don't restart, this is not going to work. Right. That's the first issue tackled. Now let's solve the second issue. The second issue is that um, Google does not let a non-native app write on the SD card. So unless you have SD, unless you have Google Camera or your native camera, your camera is not going to be able to save onto your SD card. What's the big deal? The S6 doesn't have an SD card anyway. Well. The S4 is an extremely reliable phone. It, I have had this for about two years, three years, and I'm still using it. I have other phones at this point. I have um, HTC, I even have an S6, but I just prefer my S4 um, because it's that reliable and by now it has sentimental values. Um, basically, if you have an S4, you'll know that the internal memory is so-called 16 gigabytes, but after you do everything with it, and there are about two or three gigabytes left. Now, if I had two or three gigabytes left, I'm pretty sure recording for longer than 30 minutes is not going to be something I would be worrying about. I have a 32 gigabyte SD card, however, and the fact that, well, that I cannot save onto it with a non-native camera app, that really bugs me. So the open camera, is a non-native camera app and as you can see here it does indeed have the setting to save uh, into the um, no horizontal is easier for you guys to see <clears throat> it does indeed have more camera yep it does indeed have the settings to save into the SD card right here and right now it is saved into the SD card so, um, all my videos are going to an SD card. That's a good thing. But before before this, I could not do it. If I had set the save location to an SD card, um, it would not save there. Oh yeah, and this is only if you have the KitKat update. The KitKat updates prevent prevents you from doing that. So, let's have a look at how to fix it. You need root, by the way, which is really annoying. But first, you need to get an app called... Let me get this focus here. Cord. Well, I actually have it written down here. SD net app SD fix. It looks like this. It has a symbol. <laughs> what else do you think it would have a symbol of? Yep, it's a really uh, bland symbol of an SD card. And when you get it, when you download it, it's free by the way. You simply open it. It says welcome. You press continue. And it says blah 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 but when you get to here it'll say action required blah 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 and you simply press OK enter whatever it wants you to press and it'll tell you that um, you're doing this at your own risk but you know if you've rooted your phone you're used to taking risks no need to worry about that and quite simply you just let it do its thing and by the end of it you start your phone and now open camera can actually save onto an SD card and this is how you solve the 4 gigabyte problem and also the memory problem of not being able to save onto your SD card. I hope this helps. Have a good day.